A dog gives birth to a cloned Arctic wolf in a major breakthrough, and this is the first of its kind. A female, a wild female wolf provided the embryos for seven meagles, one of which was able to give birth to the lab-born animal. A surrogate beagle mother has given birth to a wolf cloned in a China-Beijing lab in a fascinating world first. The Arctic beast have been named Maya, and her birth could represent a major breakthrough in the protection and breeding of wild and endangered animals. Born back in June, the wolf was cloned by Chinese scientists who took skin cells from a 16-year-old female wolf at a lab in the country's northeast region. These were then inserted into the mother beagle's eggs, which had its contents removed. And now, 100 days after the animal's birth, biogenetics firm Sinogen decides to make the news public via video footage. Mi Jidong, Sinogen Biotechnology General Manager, said at a press conference in Beijing, to save the endangered animal, we started the research cooperation with Harbin Polarland Polar on cloning the Arctic wolf in 2020. After two years of painstaking efforts, the Arctic wolf was cloned successfully it is the first case of its kind in the world, they said. The donor was a wild female Arctic wolf, wolf, which came from Canada and was taken to Harbin Polar Land in northeast China. The scientists constructed 137 new embryos from the wolf's enucleated when the nucleus of the cell is removed. The oocytes and ovary cell, 85 of these embryos were then transferred to the uteri of seven beagles, the reason a beagle was chosen over a female wolf is due to the rarity of the Arctic creature. Often called pale wolves, these animals hardly ever come into contact with humans. The experts also chose a dog as a surrogate mother due to the shared genetic ancestry the animal shared with ancient wolves. However, pregnancies failed in six out of the seven of the experiments, with the only successful one resulting in Maya's birth. Mr. D.G. Dong said, it's relatively easy to clone canines and cats. We'll continue to work in this field. In the next step, we may clone rare wild animals other than canines or cats, and it will be more difficult. Cloned animals are reportedly still able to reproduce if they have intact fertilized eggs, which could signal a huge breakthrough for the survival of endangered species. It's because cloning technology is able to copy all genetic information for selective breeding and can diversify the population of endangered animals. In fact, the main benefit of cloning, experts say, is that it maintains the amount of genetic diversity within a species. Hei Zing Ming, director of the Institute for Laboratory Animal Resources, China Academy of Food and Drug Control, said cloning technology provides a good entry point for the protection of endangered wild animals which makes a great contribution to the protection of biodiversity. Ben Novak, lead scientist at Revive and Restore, told Life Science, cloning is a drastically underutilized tool. In the future, it could be a literal lifeline for species that become rare or worse, they go extinct. Maya is now living with her surrogate beagle mother at Sinogen's lab in Suzhou in eastern China. The wolf is later expected to be transferred to Harbin Polar Land, and the public will be able to go and see the wolf first wolf here, the world's first wolf here. But the researchers have said the animal cannot ever live in the wild, as it will not be able to socialize with other wolves at an early age. The most famous instance of cloning is Dolly the sheep back in 1997. At the time, Dolly was the first mammal to be cloned from an adult cell, and her birth was evidence that specialized cells could be used to create an exact copy of the animal they came from. While Dolly may be more famous, the first ever cloned animal was another sheep cloned from an embryo cell back in 1984. This is on Express UK by Jacob Paul. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.